Hello everyone. I made a video yesterday about this 2002 Duramax and I said we're gonna bring it inside the shop and we're gonna diagnose it and see what we find. And uh, thanks for those replies that we have got about is it a bad engine or bad injectors. Um, there was a guy saying uh, there's an injector stacked open. I well, appreciate that comment but um wanted to give an update on how far have i got i put my scanner i got a autel ds708 put on it um bad news to me because i wasn't able to link the scanner to the computer on doing a uh valence um i mean cylinder valence on the uh through the scanner so I wasn't able to disable one or other, um, one or two injectors. So, you know, I wasn't able to do that. So I went a little uh, to the side of where I was hoping to go to. So I monitored the fuel pressure. So fuel pressure was dropping down 10 pounds from 38 pounds of pressure that the truck has been set to. It drops all the way down to 26, 25 pounds every cycle of the engine. He goes up and down up and down so we knew we had a fuel problem and uh, at the beginning I I I said in the video hey look it's got black smoke you know if you got black smoke um, you can imagine what what happens to your engine when you put a cheap bus uh, performance chip on it if you step on the gas you're gonna see a lot of black smoke coming out of it so that meant the the truck was burning so much diesel that you know couldn't handle it and um, we went a little deeper and uh, went with my Torque Pro and do a, a injector rate, it's called. And I found out that four injectors were bad, but two of them were completely bad. I mean, really, really off the point. And we called the owner and told him, hey, look, you know, I think we think we got some injectors bad on it. And, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take it apart. So the customer wanted, you know, if we're replacing two or three injectors, we might as well do all eight of them. So this is the update, guys. We found injector problem. So hopefully this will give you an idea if that noise that we heard at the beginning, uh, it's going on in your engine, on your truck, uh, don't think. Like this guy was thinking it's an engine we are facing an injector problem so as you can see on my other video you know you don't have to take a bunch of stuff off to do the injectors i already got this side done uh i mean not done but i took the injectors out already and i'm about to start on the other side too and remember guys this is not a big deal the duramax don't get scared about it it's a simple job to do all you do need all you will need is um uh, you know like regular wrenches like a 12 millimeter, 13 millimeter, 14 millimeter, 15 millimeters, and um, some short and long sockets. And besides that, some, you know, needle pliers and uh, what else? Maybe a flat a screwdriver and a 19 millimeter wrench to go to take a loose the fitting lines for the injectors. That's pretty much it. And, you know, don't be scared of it. It's simple job. All you got to do is have a little bit of knowledge on how to manage you know or how to handle tools and besides that on the engine itself you know all you got to take off is the alternator in order to get to the fuel, uh, fuel lines over there and um, you know I haven't even drained the cooling system so the cooling system is intact you know so it's a it's a good job to do and it will leave you a little bit of money if you are charging for it so hopefully this will help somebody and thanks for watching the update